Baby doll. <laughs> I'm ready. So it's uh, grilling season. It's getting warmer outside. So today is actually the first day we're gonna grill. So I'm gonna do something that all my kids like. It's uh, grilled vegetables. So we have some nice asparagus here. We have some nice eggplant. We have some nice scallions. Yellow kukutsa. Green kukutsa. Gotta say squash in case squash, they don't understand. Squash, kukutsa, they know. And I got some nice yellow peppers. Red peppers. Got some nice garlic here. Salt and pepper the taste, of course. And then we got some nice Sicilian olive oil right over here. It's a new olive oil that my friend, uh, Stephen Rocco's, uh, Stephen Rocco from Rocco's on Nine in uh, Manalapan gave us. So we're gonna try it tonight. So we're gonna come back and start chopping up these vegetables. Okay. All right, first thing we're gonna do is the peppers. We don't do nothing to them, the easiest thing. We're gonna, we're gonna scold them whole on the barbecue. Next thing we're gonna do is our eggplant. So let's make some room here. And I washed all the vegetables. We do wash our vegetables. These, I try to make them a little bit thicker. I would say anywhere from a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch. Try not to grab too big, you know? We're gonna brush them all nice with the olive oil, salt and pepper. I usually don't salt and pepper until they finish grilling. So, you know, and you can grill all kinds of things. These are healthy, not only healthy, but they are cholesterol free. Even our olive oil, I was reading the label, it's cholesterol free because it's extra virgin olive oil and it's, it's unfiltered which is awesome, cold pressed. So this is very, very good. This is the first time we're trying it. We tried it actually the other day at the restaurant, but we're gonna try it again here. All right, we're gonna finish cutting the eggplant, then get to the next vegetable. Okay, what's next? Next is our yellow squash. Listen, you can cut these any way you want. I like to cut them lengthwise. You can cut them round, whatever you think is easier to do. And these are the same thing. I leave them fairly Thick because they will grill and they will get smaller so and like I said you can't get easier than this I mean this is probably the hardest part of this is just managing the cutting part of it so well, I'm gonna finish cutting this we're gonna cut the green squash the same and we'll be back for the uh, green onions okay all right so our scallions uh, we're basically just trimming the tops off here a little bit Cutting out the white part, and we're just, you know, taking off a few of the loose stuff, and uh, we're leaving them like this. Very simple, very easy, and uh, they're gonna be easy to handle on a grill, too. We'll be back. Okay. All right, guys, so basically, see, I did these already. We're just trying to get to the white part here on the stem. If they're a little bigger, if they're not even that big, sometimes they have nice smaller ones, you can just, you know, you don't even have to clean them, you know? Because all we're really doing is just grilling them on the barbecue. And you know, the good thing about all this stuff right over here is that, you know, this stays for a while in the fridge. You can keep this probably a week, you know? And uh, you can use them in wraps. You can use them in sandwiches. You can use them on top of burgers. You can use them on anything. So next part, we're going to the grill. Okay, so we're outside on this beautiful day. So this is, this is the house that we have in Long Branch, New Jersey. Uh, we're living here while we're building the new house, so we have this little grill. Hopefully, in a big house, we'll have a big grill. So I'll do a kitchen. I want. Do a kitchen. <laughs> and I want to thank my sister-in-laws and my brother-in-law for letting me stay here while we built the house rent-free, even though it's a, it's a fifth of ours. So it's all good. So I'm gonna try this new trick. They say to rub a potato on the grill the first time you use it, and they say it's better than anything else because metal scouring pads that you can leave the bristles in there they say the starch makes the food not stick so we're trying it i'm gonna do that and then we'll be right back okay. all right see we had to make a little makeshift table here so first thing we're going to do is put our olive oil 
I like to do it like this because this we're just going to char really quick. I get it on my hands and I put it on it. And you'll see, you could do this with a brush, you could do it with anything. With your hands. <laughs> with your hands. This is far, so we could do this. Wow. This, this olive oil is awesome. It smells so good. Even being outside, I can smell it. And we're going to roast these on a low medium heat I'm sorry medium high heat I like to roast one vegetable at a time you could do multiples but I like to do one at a time so we're gonna roast these and occasionally just turn them until they get really charred and then we're gonna go on to the next vegetable I'll show you all right so we've got our beautiful peppers here we're gonna oh yeah that's what you want to see want to see a nice char right there and all these peppers look at that oh yeah you hear them, you hear them blistering huh you hear that all right we're gonna keep on blistering these peppers and we'll be back Pluto's look good yeah so I keep this side here a little bit on the cold side so as they get nice and blistered i put them here you know keep spinning them a little bit give them a little toss here and there see like this one's almost there put this one here this one's almost done see how nice they're blistering look at that huh see these got probably another two three minutes and then we're going to take them off and move on to the next the vegetable beautiful no cholesterol okay all right guys so you can see if these are nice and charred. This is where all the flavor is gonna come from. All right, look at that. Look at these things. All right, so now I'm gonna put them in this bowl here. Then I'm gonna put a piece of saran wrap on top of them, let them steam a little bit. And that's how the skin is gonna come off a little easier. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Next. I already gave these a little coat, you know? These are gonna go quicker than the peppers. The peppers took about 15 minutes. These will go for like maybe like five, 10 minutes. Like five minutes on each side. And then, uh, and then I just give them a little turn and we're done. Like I said, I like to do all the ones. All one flavor first, all the eggplant first. All right. We'll be back. All right, cutie, you gotta wait for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I like plants ready to get turned. See, that's the way I like them, just like that. Oh my goodness, they look beautiful. So we're gonna turn all these, let them go for another three, four minutes. Huh? Que bella cosa. And let me tell you something, he grills the vegetables all the time for me in the summer and he does it with such love He'll sit out here as long as it takes. He care. enjoys it. Beautiful. All right, guys, we'll be back. Okay, so now my love put the squash. Yeah, we might have to do this in two trips because we're making so many. We're gonna let Mary take some home and then uh, Dom's gonna take some. We're gonna have to bring it to her because she's studying. She's almost done with school, so my dentist has got to study. So we're gonna have to do this in a few rounds, but it will all come nice. And like he said, we make extra because this stays and the kids love them. Yeah, you put them in the fridge, like I said before, you can put them on sandwiches, wraps, uh, just as a side dish for when you're making fish or meat. Uh, I mean, he looks yeah. so cute. <laughs> I am? You're handsome, after all these years, you're still good looking. <laughs> all right, I like that, still good looking. You are. And we love you guys. The Jersey Shore, baby. Beginning of 2023 summer. All right, so we're going to drizzle some more olive oil on here. Look at my guy. Look at him. Now, the trick to this, to me, see, this is, don't put it this way. Put it opposite of the grill. You know? The scallions. And these are really going to take just literally a few minutes. As you can see, we already took some of the squash off scallions next what's your favorite 
My favorite is the eggplant, I gotta say. The, and I wanna give props to Trader Joe's. That eggplant was beautiful, no seeds, right? And another thing too is, I wanna show everybody, the potato trick actually worked. Nothing at all stuck on the grill. Look, nothing stuck on the grill, so props. I can't remember who I saw do it on TikTok, but do the potato with the starch and nothing will stick. I actually just ordered barbecue oil. Yeah, don't use those bristle brushes. They say no. that it's very dangerous. So. Okay. We'll see you in a little bit after the asparagus. We're going to put it all together on our fish platter and we'll be back. I, lo I love the fish platter. Even though it's not fish platter, I love it. It's very Jersey Shore ish. Our eggplant's done. We're going to start taking the stuff off. Oops, one got away. All right, then we're going to continue grilling the vegetables and uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. Hey. All right, guys, so we're taking off the last of the asparagus here. Look at that platter. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we have the asparagus. We got the uh, the uh, scallions. We got the yellow squash. We got the green squash. We got the eggplant. My buddy and my son buddy already wants to dig in. We're going to finish this off, and we're going to clean up the peppers and show you the finished platter. Hey. All right, so this was the first thing we did, the peppers. We roasted them. Look at this beautiful. Look how nice, huh? Que bella cosa. Look at that. So now basically we're just gonna take off all the skin. You know, we're gonna de-seed them, clean them up a little bit. This guy, he can't wait to eat them. He's barking at me. He can't he, have those. No, he can't have these. We're gonna make him steak though tonight on the grill. Hells yeah, that'll be another video. So we're gonna clean these up. And then I'm going to show you the last couple of things that we're going to put on there. And then we're going to grill the steaks and si mangia. You ready, cutie? I'm ready. So these were the six peppers right over here. I mean, look how nice they look came. Look at that. Right? Look at the color. We're not going to be able to put down sizes on here, but I put a little bit of garlic in here first. And a little bit of olio d'oliva. And I toast these a little bit. Just to toss them, you know? What about the parsley? I'm gonna put the parsley list. That's the way I Can't do it. Can't forget the parsley, no. you know me. So this is our platter. We have this platter, and then we have the reserve platter. See, this is the reserve. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna finish off this platter for you guys. So I just drizzled the olive oil. And I will say, we're not gonna be able to put the exact sizes. You can get two bunches of asparagus. You can do whatever you want. But I'm gonna tell you right now, what we used this is, uh, let's see, this is a one liter bottle. I used about a quarter of a liter, all right? So we're gonna do the same thing on here. A little bit of nice garlic. We love garlic, so I know a lot of people, especially Italian, non ci piace l'aglio, dico che, dicono che, gli italiani dicono che li dà la, come si chiama, la bocca brutta, ma a noi ci piace, we like it. I was telling everybody, the Italian people don't like us to use a lot of garlic, we love garlic, so. We're gonna shove all this in here, right, baby? And that's just raw chopped garlic. Raw chopped garlic. Toss it. Look at that. Now you can leave this separate. I'm just gonna put a little bit right over here. There's about six or seven of us eating tonight. And look at that. Huh? Look how beautiful that is. We have our eggplant, our squash all around, the green and the yellow. We have our beautiful scallions, our beautiful asparagus, and the babarul arrustut. All this, this is garlic. Now, I didn't put the salt and the pepper. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I like to put it soon, just before we serve it. All right? We love you guys. Ciao, ragazzi.